Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to make your own customized, personalized mind movie. So we're going to be using Iliisms and some of the Dr. Joe Dispenza formula, and then combine all this using free software to generate an incredibly effective technique to reprogram your mind, to revolutionize the way you think and feel, especially for improving decision making and your emotion regulation skills. And we'll do all this in under five minutes. All right, let's go. So first off, what are iliasms? Who even cares about them? What's the point of them? Iliasms are when people refer to themselves in the third person, using their own name or other pronouns instead of I or me. So if a person's name was Sandra and she wanted to get better fitness and work out more and do more yoga, instead of saying, oh, I work out more and I go do yoga, she would say, Sandra goes and does yoga. Sandra goes and works out. Using iliasms can help people distance themselves from their own thoughts and emotions, allowing them to observe themselves more objectively. So this can lead to a greater understanding of their own behavior and thought patterns. Now here's another benefit. It's called strengthened sense of identity. So referring to oneself in the third person can help people reinforce their sense of self, especially in situations where they might feel uncertain or insecure. It can be a way of reminding oneself of their own worth and importance. And some people have found that using iliasms can help them think more creatively since it forces them to approach problems and situations from a different perspective. And I'm just going to share with you some highlights from a paper called Training for Wisdom, the Distance Self-Reflection Diary Method. So this was a study that they did using iliasms in a bunch of people where for four weeks they're supposed to keep a diary, but instead of saying I, me, or mine, they would have people using iliasms. So if a person like Sandra was saying, oh, she had a bad day, she wouldn't say I had a bad day. She would say Sandra had a bad day. All right, so you get people that are using iliasms and other people writing a journal using I, me, mine. So down here at the end, they have the conclusion and talks about wisdom. So what is wisdom? It concerns a balanced, open approach to reasoning that seeks reconciliation of disparate viewpoints. It predicts a host of desirable outcomes, right, such as harmonious interpersonal relationship. So who cares about wisdom? Well, that's what iliasms do. They increase wisdom. So it showed that wisdom is not the purview of just a few fortunate individuals. Utilizing the ancient practice of distant self-reflection, we demonstrated that referring to oneself in the third person during repeated reflections on daily events affords a more expansive self-focus, in turn facilitating wiser reasoning. The results from two field experiments suggest that training, distance, self-reflection can bolster wise reasoning in everyday life. All right, now that we know what iliasms are and that they got some kind of benefit, let's head on over to ChatGPT. So I'm going to say write 50 iliasms for better health, wealth, relationships, and well-being using the name Sandra Schlobotnik. And boom, so here's a list of iliasms. All right, now as for the Dr. Joe Dispenza formula, what he talks about is feeling grateful for the future that hasn't occurred yet, even though it's something that you want. So instead of saying, gee, you know, I hope I can one day fit into that outfit, you can say, oh, I'm so grateful that I fit into it right now, even though you, you don't, but we're feeling grateful, we're feeling ahead of the event, right? So that's what these iliasms are like. It's like feeling gratitude for the thing that hasn't happened. So we're going to copy this. Let's head on over to Pictori. Script to video. Okay, enter your video name, Sandra, my movie. So now this copy text that's in our clipboard from chat GPT with all those iliasms is going to be pasted right here and used to generate a video using AI. All right, so this is what it's come up with. It's got a whole bunch of videos that matches each sentence, each statement, each iliasm that we made. Now, some of the selections are pretty good, but some of them are kind of weak, like these sorts of animated ones aren't really a match. So you just kind of pick and choose and sort which ones are most suitable for what you're looking for. And to do that, you just basically remove the one that's there and you find something in the visual section. So let's do that right here right now. I click up here to the visuals. I think that guy in the boat, we should probably swap him out because he doesn't look like Sandra Slobotnik to me. So let's use this meditating woman. That looks perfect. All right. We're going to turn off that background music because we don't want any music on this. And the scenes, instead of being seven and a half seconds long, let's just make each scene about three and a half seconds. And that way the length of the video will be about well, under five minutes. Oh, look at that. Two minutes and 26 seconds. Perfect. That's just long enough to have a morning meditation and evening meditation. Now we hit this purple video for generate and video. And that's it. It's going to be creating the scene. It's going to generate the video. And our work here is done. Then when the video is done, it'll be downloaded to your computer. And from there, you can upload it to YouTube, slap on your own soundtrack if you like, and have the video as unlisted so that only you get to watch it. 
All right, now once you got your mind moving, what you want to do is you want to watch them before you go to bed. That's when the brain waves are in a more relaxed state. And you also want to watch it when you wake up while you're still in that relaxed state. All right, and that's how you can begin using your own mind movie in ways to influence yourself for the better. All right, I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.